There's actually no set price on these, but we had somebody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really special video for you guys. I have, if you can't recognize him, uh, which you probably can't, the Yeezy <laughs> Busta with me. So actually you were ahead of the, the mask trend. Yeah, you know, I've been wearing a mask since 2015, so everyone's just kind of pretending to be me now, which is cool, you know? <laughs> so he brought us today to one of the most exclusive sneaker vaults. Probably. Maybe that exists, period. How much would you say in sneakers is in this place? So just in this little room right here, we got like four to five million. Four to five million? And what about in the whole place? Around 10 to 15, depending Jeez. on where you ask. I'll show you guys some B-roll of the entire store, but we're in the actual main vault right now, which is the four to five million dollars in here. And just you want to just take us through and show us your favorite kicks? Sure. There's actually a pair of one million dollar shoes in here that we're going to show you guys. Yep. So let's Pretty get crazy. It. Let's get into it. So this is kind of, you know, a crowd favorite. Every yep. time somebody yep. comes in here, they got to see the mags. Back yep. to the Future. Definitely not a top five for me, but everybody loves them. What do so. these go for? Um, depends on the size, but ten to twenty grand. Ooh. So and like when they're charged up, they light up and do the whole thing. Yeah, these ones are dead right now because we have, these actually have never been charged before. This is like a super like pristine pair. Sick. Um, but the self lacing ones go for a lot more. They go for like fifty to sixty thousand, which is pretty crazy. Moly. Yeah. So I'd say one of my favorite shoes in here is actually this Yeezy One sample. These were nicknamed okay. the Ferrari Reds. And I know you mentioned that you're not a huge fan of Yeezy Ones, yeah. but like me growing up, like a diehard Kanye fan, I always was a big fan of it. Like pretty much every shoe he's done. This is the only pair in existence. Ever shoes. made. Yeah. There's... So so you guys know a sample is basically something that they create but don't necessarily make. It's just a sample product. And this is one of one sample. And these are pretty nice too. So these were the original samples of the ones that ended up actually dropping. So oh, okay. Kanye wore both of these shoes. Kanye wore wow. these on his Glow in the Dark tour, which was really cool. Um, both of these, if you look inside, they say sample. Wow. I don't know if you can see that right there, but they're made in his size, size 12. And I think he wore size them. 12 with the same shoe. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna wear these out today. You're gonna buy them? What do these go for? You know, 100. Oh, these ones go for like 100, 150,000. We might, Thousand? we might be able to give you a deal on those, maybe like 60. If you, if you can buy nice. a house with that, that's <laughs> insane. All right, so we got some real grails in this one. A lot of fours, a lot of really special kicks in here. Start with some of the fours. Okay, so uh, we have a couple pretty cool fours in here. For example, here we have the undefeated fours. These are actually DJ AMs, rest in peace to DJ No way, AM. his yeah. actual pair? His actual What pair. size did he wear? Um, I'm not sure. Size 12, oh. your size, there you go. Looks like you're gonna be dropping a bag today. No, I am not buying it. <laughs> what do those go for? Um, I mean, just because of the significance behind him and stuff, I actually don't Probably know. Probably more because of AM. Probably, yeah, I mean, they are worn though. I mean, we have a brand new pair of these and I'm pretty sure they go from 30 to 40,000. Okay. Around there, you know, some light work. Casual, yeah. yeah. Now I feel like we're used to it. Here, I'll show you these fours next. These are the Carhartt fours, the M&M fours, like the original ones. <sighs> They got like that cool hockey mask logo on the back. And, and there's two M&M shoes here, right? Exactly, yeah. So these are the Carhartt oh, fours, the original sick. ones. And then he came out with the Encore fours right here. And these are actually the only size 15 in existence from one of our- Which pair is worth more? Um, these are nicer, I like the blue ones better. People like the black ones just because they're a little bit more wearable. These are a lot rarer. So basically what happened was after he released his Encore fours, so these ones, they retroed the Encore 4s and the Undefeated 4s because a big celebrity wanted a retro of them because they weren't able to get them way back when. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Okay. I can tell you later. You don't have to say. But, um, so th I'll this tell is, you guys later. <laughs> this is the only size 15 in existence. These were made for LeBron, but Sick. I guess he didn't want them. We got a pair of the Oregon 5s with the duck on the back. Everyone loves these. Sick. These are, they're kind of releasing a version of these. Um, I think in the next couple months. Oregon God, fours. those are crazy. People How much these. do those go for? These ones are like five to six K. These ones go for a lot more, but I don't know how much. I don't want to take a guess. Something crazy. Um, Sometimes guys, it's like, it's really hard for them to even know what to price a shoe at because they literally only have one. So how do you price a shoe? It's like absolutely. StockX, you know the price of shoes because there's a bunch of them. When you only have one and it's the only one that ever exists, how do you price that? I guess it's for, we price it at however much somebody wants to buy it for. You okay. know what I mean? And All right, that's some fair. people have deep pockets. <laughs> that's fair. There's another cool four or more recent one. Travis Scott? Yes, sir. 
Friends and family. Friends and family only. These didn't release. Yeah, they did not release. Friends and family that only. That purple is sexy. And actually, the shoe that this shoe is based off of is these guys right here. These are ugly, though. Chris Paul. <laughs> you don't like them? <laughs> I don't like these. They're one of one. I like the Travis. I don't like the... It's too light. Okay. This one's, okay. like, hard. This is girly. So, but this one's way rare. There's only one of these in existence. So, Travis shops with us um, frequently. And, oh, sick. And uh, we think that this is the shoe that inspired his shoe because, I mean, come on, look at them. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I think so. <laughs> like, and not anyone can just come in here, right? You no, know, like, no. It's friends and family only. Someone. You gotta know someone. Yeah, Austin, uh, I'm gonna have to charge you for being in here oh, well, by the minute. Time, time to go. <laughs> we, ha we have the original Space Jams worn by Michael Jordan in the movie. <gasps> so, and you said that there was like dust on it or something? So the dirt that you kind of see like around the shoe is actually from the baseball scene. So the dust, that's, <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> that's crazy. There's only four pairs that were made for the movie and we have two of them. I'm like scared cool. to touch them. I don't even want to, I don't want to hurt them. So what do those go for? Well, I mean, like you said, it's kind of hard to price them, but we've yeah. gotten offers for, you know, 250 to $300,000. Offers, like someone offered yeah. you, can you imagine walking in $300,000 cash and then you offer it and then they turn you down? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'd be pissed. A mess in here, we have too many shoes. This is a really cool uh, sample that we have in here. These oh, are the, wow. These are the OVO 11s. OVO 11s? Yes, I didn't sir. even know OVO did a collab with 11. Yeah, they're or with friends Jordan. and family, but it's a total, if you know, you know. What do these go for? Uh, we've seen them go for like 15 to 20. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Solid. Here we have a pair of Supreme Up Tempo signed by oh. the man himself, Scotty Pippen. Whoa. No way. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. That's sick. Yeah, so he's been here a couple times, and last time he came by, he signed a pair of his own shoes, but a Supreme rendition. What does the shoe go for without Scotty's signature? Just like the Supreme <sighs> um, Up Tempo? I, I actually don't know. Not crazy, right? A couple no. G's maybe? Not even that much. Okay. Like, I think like a thousand. They're nice. Yeah, they're cool. Cool shoe. Yeah, it's cool that Scotty signed them. All right, I think it's time. Okay, you, you want to show him the crazy I th I one? I think it's time. Okay. Don't do it to him. Don't you do it to him. Expensive shoe in the building. One of one, worn by the goat, the legend, the mamba. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, show him. We got it right here. So, there's actually no set price on these, but we had somebody kind of appraise them for us, and they were telling us that, you know, I'll see the price at the end. How about that? Let's explain okay. what the shoe yeah, is. Explain the shoe first. So it's a Jordan 8 Lakers colorway. It's so it's not a Kobe. It's not a Kobe. It's so a Jordan 8. It's a Jordan 8 that there's only one pair of these in existence. So this is the one. And he wore them in a game. He wore them in a game. They're game worn, Kobe size, and Kobe actually signed both shoes. There's an iconic photo of Kobe helping MJ up. Um, off the wearing ground, his shoe. wearing these shoes. And there's another photo of him dunking, if you can find it, I don't know where it is. Oh gosh. I'll try to find it. Okay. <laughs> we think it's kind of poor taste just to sell them to someone. Yeah. So maybe we'll do something cool for charity or something for his, uh, uh, for his foundation. That'd be sick. But I mean, somebody appraised these for us and they were telling us they're, since they're Jordans, one of one, signed by Kobe, worn by Kobe, and the significance behind the shoe, um, you know, they could go upwards of like a million dollars. A million dollars. That's probably, the, in my opinion, because I'm a Kobe fan, because I grew up in LA, because I also love Jordan and Jordans, it's probably the greatest shoe of all time. Dude, I, it's, it's up there for it's got, sure. It's gotta be up there. It's a beautiful, beautiful sneaker. And also, we actually have the retro version. I don't know if you want to see that too. Like the, the ones. That, the retro version? So, yeah. So basically, after he retired, he came out with this pack right here. It's a really cool box as well. 24 and 23, Kobe oh, and Jordan. Oh, wow, sick. Oh man. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And then I think these, yeah, these are the eights. Right oh, is there one in one? Oh my gosh. There you go. Yo. So they came out in a pack oh. of twos, the threes and then the eights right here. Oh Did I pull my those out? Okay. gosh. So this is the only wow. one. Oh my God, like brand new. They're beautiful. Look at this. They smell guys. so good. Holy <laughs> If you're a sneakerhead, you know that smell, if that brand know, new sneaker smell. If, if you, you know, know, you know. You know. Last but not least, we're gonna end it with some LeBron's. <laughs> this is LeBron's actual game worn shoe. Look, just so you can see the size of my freaking head, how big this damn shoe is. Look at the comparison to my foot. You could probably slip your I, shoe. Maybe I might be able to. <laughs> Alright guys, that's a wrap on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bro, thank you. If you're not following Yeezy Bussy yet, make sure you go follow him. Subscribe. Give me your stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeezy Bus to at Yeezy Bus on everything, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, all that good stuff. But make sure you're subscribed to my, my boy Austin right here. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, tell a friend and tell a friend world. Peace!